Don't fight it. It's time to go up a size. This is the biggest, the biggest, the biggest. This is the biggest. Our biggest show. The Hodaki Big Show. With Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Well, get out, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this Monday afternoon, the 29th of May, 2023. And you, my friends, are listening to The Big Show, Hoodie J, Minogue and Keezy, you mad bastards, to take you through your Monday afternoon in Minogue. I'm just not going to say it anymore. Yeah. Just outstanding. Yeah. Outstanding. Hey, happy Monday, guys. Isn't it good to be back? Mate, I've, I've got to tell you, mate, when I woke up this morning, you know, feeling a bit sort of hazy. Glum. And it was pounding down with rain. You know, the wind was whistling through the trees. Whistle, and I was like, whistle, yeah, whistle. Feeling good. Bring it on. Yeah. Actually, I woke up and went, oh, damn it. I've made it living again for another day. Mm. That's what I really thought. Yeah. Had it out to the coffee machine and slammed that, and that didn't work properly. And went outside and had a durry and felt crap. And this, like, oh, my daughter couldn't find her school socks, and it was just like, is that my problem? I don't think it's my problem. And my wife was in a mood about something, about something I'd said the previous evening and stuff, and she was hanging on to that. And then I got a call from Keezy crapping on about something about the show, and dear. Uh, but other than that, mate, oh, she was a beautiful the start to the day. sort of ringing up, saying he's got a crush on a guy down at the, the gym. gym. Yeah, oh, God. yeah, God. Well, not just a guy. His the girlfriend he's got a, as well. Yeah, he's got a yeah. crush on the he's couple. He's trying to get a swing gun. But anyway, how are you? How are you, Mogi? Oh, yeah, good man. Yeah, awesome, bloody mate. good. It's just good to be back, um, back behind the old mics here. We've got the goat on. We've got the goat on the ears, and we've got the goat on the face, don't oh. we, fellas? Oh, oh, three yeah. sick goaties just, going on. We are looking good. Just loving the goatee. How are you going, Keezy, you mad bastard? Yeah, I'm going great. I'm going great. I'll um, just stop you there, Keezy. Um, you know, we have uh, a guest coming in later on today who I'm looking forward to having a little chat with. Yes. Um, and he told me privately that he thinks Keezy has got the best goatee out of all three of us. Wow. Now, of course, we've got the competition going. Whoever's got the best goatee has to keep it for another month. <laughs> okay, you guys know full well that's not the original competition. And just because I grow amazing facial hair doesn't mean that I should have to keep this Keezy, monstrosity. Keezy! 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 Wait, no, hang on. He's I, chanting keep it. You're chanting Keezy. Uh, I was chanting uh, Keezy. Um, You're hearing keep it. I've, I've got to say, Keezy, it is looking good, mate. Looking real good. I mean, good. the, the Mose is patchy as always, but uh, but you're good, mate. You're in good spirits. Had a good weekend. You don't even care. Of course That's I care, true. Keezy. Nah, yeah, really good, fellas. Really good to be here. Really happy to see both of you. Hey, and I'm really happy to be here, quite genuinely. So text us on 348. Yeah, go on. Where are you listening to yeah. the show at the moment? What are you wearing What kind at of the pants moment? have you got on? How's your Monday going? All yeah. of that as we dig down to the goat, get stuck into it. <laughs> This dick down to the go. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Oh, got to love a bit of Nick Cave. Actually oh, had yeah. lunch with him yesterday, Mogi. He sends his regards. He loves a meringue. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He, he's, he's got a real sweet tooth, Keezy. He does. Uh, loves that's, his sweets. That's because he's off the back of that horrendous heroin addiction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. He right. was on the um, opioids for some 30 years. Right. Um, when you come off the back of that bastard there, you you sort of shift to another addiction, don't yeah, you, Yeah, you do. And his Sugar, is ciggies, meringues. you know, that sort of stuff, yeah. He's really fond of custard squares oh, as I well, weirdly. Square, hey, yeah. who's um, not, fellas? <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't mind a custard square, but what are the people saying on 3483? Actually, as luck would have it, g'day, guys, Dan here eating a custard square. Oh, don't. No, no. Keezy. What? Stop taking the piss and take this job seriously, please. Uh, okay, sorry. Here we go. G'day, my name's Reese. I'm on site laying bricks with my Waz stubbies on and my Mrs. G banger on. You happy? That sounds more legitimate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, big Bullos Brad here, boys. Met the partner's parents for the first time over the weekend and got blackout drunk and then keezied everywhere, whatever that means, because I was too nervous to eat everything. Oh, anything. what a classic. Too nervous to eat anything, Keezy. To eat Do everything. you say anything? Everything. If there's one thing that gets deep inside my goat, Keezy, it's people that say anything. Oh, well, you're in luck, Jace, because I didn't say it. Hey, oh, good okay, goat good. reference, though, because hey, the goat's a, on. That's a pretty good effort, though, isn't it? Yes. Um, you meet the you miss it. You get your missus there or your partner. Could be a man. Parents for the first time. You get a few beers in you, a few nerves in that. Next thing you know, you're keys in everywhere. Yes. Blackout drunk. Absolutely had a shocker. Yeah, totally. If it's any consolation, what was his name? Keith? Did he have a name? Big Bull or Spread. Oh, Big Bull or Spread. Uh, my my wife's parents still hate me. 
Oh yeah, and it's twenty seven years. Yeah, and I didn't. I even, I, and I didn't even do what you did, which was a big keezy spew. No, over, hang on, you know I didn't I mean? do that. The big Bullers Brad did that. Just, I, I was fine. Just actually, while we've got this on three four eight three, if people can text in their uh, harrowing tales of meeting their in laws for the first time, I think there'll be some yarns in that. Yes, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, did you have it? You didn't bugger it up the first time you met them. Just over the years, they sort of grew to hate you for who you truly are. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I'll be honest with you, Mogi. When I first met, because uh, they had separated, yeah. Uh, so I met them separately. Uh, I charmed the ass off oh, them. Yeah. Much as I charmed the ass off my wife when we started going out, yes. you know, going back to what we were saying. Lies. Said lies, 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 lies. And what you'll find is over a 27 year period, yeah. uh, they tend to find you out pretty quickly. The saying, I believe, is the truth will out. Aye. Unfortunately. But you can hide it for a long while. Um, if you're committed and if you're a good enough actor, yes, you know. I mean, it got so it got so bad. The last time I went over to her dad's house, my wife walked in through their front door and then he closed the door on me. Oh. You know what I mean? I didn't even get in through the door. <laughs> it's funny yeah. though. I, I remember when I met my in-laws, I was wearing a beanie, a Warriors jersey, and I pulled up in a Nissan Skyline. Yeah, right. I had bum pants on as well, grey warehouse pants. You know? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you Hot. were steamed as well. You were saying I didn't drive steamed, Jace. Oh, I got okay. steamed once I was there. Oh, yeah, 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 good yeah. on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, were saying you. actually off air. You were saying off air, Keezy, that one of the you know the things you love to do is to go around to your father-in-law's and drink all his free piss. That literally is yes. Yeah, yeah. One I of know. The, my favorite things. Yeah. He's got yeah. so much. Yeah. And every yeah. time I go back, it's like he's got more. What's he doing? My uh, my in-laws didn't like the fact that I smoked darts. Right, yeah. So I blew smoke in her face. And yeah, I said, get God. used to it. Yeah, yeah. A woman. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Did you actually? Huh? Did you actually say that? <laughs> Something close to that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, text us. What was your first meeting like with uh, your partner's parents? Was it horrific? Or hey. was it glorious like Mogi? And oh. I? Yeah, by the way, 3483 is the text number. How yes. about this one? This one will get you started. I met my ex-boyfriend's parents when his mother walked in on us having sex. <laughs> well, the scene from Shrek 3 when the Frog King dies and the frog singing uh, Live and Let Die was on in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Romantic scene there. I've got a very similar story to that. Not uh, my own personal experience, but I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> save the next, I'll save it for the next couple of songs. Let's get back to the countdown. That's right. Text us 3483 BK vouchers on offer. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Geez, we even chucked a bit of Bob Marley in there, Mogi. Yeah, how good? So good, mate. Well, we didn't. S- well, no, I mean, the people New did. New Zealand Obviously. Did. Hey, we we're talking about meeting uh, your partner's parents for the first times on three, f- for the first time on 3483. After one of our listeners uh, was incredibly nervous about meeting his partner's parents and so subsequently didn't eat anything and then got steamed and did a keezy all yeah. over the floor. Wow, he just he threw up all over the floor. Yeah, yeah, did a keezy all over well, the floor. Well, hang on, we can't use keezy as a verb for all these different things. People get confused. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it just sort of covers a generic kind of grouping keezy. Right. Uh, but what are the people saying on 3483? Um, I picked up a tummy bug travelling to stay with her folks at a fancy batch in Kaiteri. I thought I could sneak a silent fart, but then I just crapped my pants in front of them. Been there. Standy. Yeah. Uh, first time I met the in-laws, her father was hammered in the spa in his birthday suit. I've actually got one, and I'm not going to name names. It was an absolute doozy. And it was similar to one that we were talking about previously where my friend and his girlfriend were making love in his mother's room. Sure. And the mother... What? The, the mother... That's a true story. That's a shocker. The mother came home. They panicked. He quickly put his clothes on and ran out to meet his mum. She jumped into her wardrobe naked. She came into the room, opened up the wardrobe, and she was squatting naked in the wardrobe. She looked down here and went, Don't worry, darling, didn't see a thing, and then closed the wardrobe door again. And walked off. That wow. is not true, good. True story. That is not good. Uh, but they became very close after that. Yeah, I'm Str- sure. Strangely enough. Um, when I first met my mother-in-law, she proceeded to tell me about all the ghosts she'd seen and then told me about the time she was abducted by aliens. Uh, I then found out she was genuinely serious. Yeah, get out while you can in that scenario. Actually, what about what about this from Ethan? 
My girlfriend's dad walked in on us while we were midway through the passionate throes of love. Now me and Harry get along quite well and he grows some mean garlic. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of love making happening here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not text us all the times your in-laws caught you making love, although that's what... Yeah, you know, a- I have to be honest that my parents caught me making love quite a bit. But yeah, then, but that know, was solo. Back in my heyday, I was uh, quite a prolific love maker, as, as you guys know. Sure. You know well, prime, we don't know. You tell us. Um, yeah. In my prime there, 18 to sort of 24. Your cheating days. Uh, yeah, my cheating days. That's right, your Thank you. I was days. trying yeah, to remember yeah. what that was. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Uh, keep those texts coming, by the way, on 3483. What are we going into a break here, Keezy? We're going into an ad break, and then we've got a few more tunes from The Goat to come next. Uh, and don't forget, The Goat, all brought to you by Machinery House. If you need tools and machines and all that, machineryhouse.co.nz. Beautiful. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Oh, yes, fun-loving criminals there mm. on the Radio Hodaki uh, Big Show this Monday afternoon. The time is nine minutes to five o'clock. What's your second second favourite song from them? <sighs> Let's Scooby-Doo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do they only do Scooby-Doo theme songs? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. They do one about Wilma, which is disgusting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that's true. I, I tell you what, Mogi, I don't know how you're feeling, because you're obviously in much better shape than me yeah, at the moment, but yeah. um, the old thighs are killing me a little bit. She yeah, was, I'm not uh, surprised, She was man. a heavy, heavy afternoon yesterday. Well, that's the thing, man. It's like, because um, I've got to build in a bit of cardio at the moment into my workouts. Yes. Trying to do a bit of a shred at the moment, you know. And uh, so, so you get some cardio involved. Uh, but I don't really like running or rowing. Biking? Or biking. Swimming. Or swimming. Cross training. Or cross training. What's uh, that one? With the little it's handles. The, oh, you know, yeah, the cross training. So I, I, love, I, love like cross I don't like Or the stairs. I don't like that either. Oh, I love the stairs. Um, so I said, what's, what's something practical I could do? And they said, climbing. What about a bit of rock climbing? And I yeah. was like, well, Jason, I used to do that, so why don't we get out and do that? And I was, gave you a shout yesterday morning. I said, what have you gone to on the Arvo? Nothing much. Well, I had I had lunch with Nick Cave for for lunch. Sure, sure, sure. But after sure, that, sure. you yeah, know, the Arvo yeah, was free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we went and did a little bit of rock climbing. And the thing is with you, man, is that you sort of drive from your legs. Yes. Uh, but you've got to give yourself a bit of a break by using your arms as well. Yes. Um, but you were a bit reluctant to do that because you haven't been at the gym lately, yeah. have you? Oh, well, and as you guys know, and I've been very upfront about it, I hate leg work. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hate doing that. It seems like a waste of time given my withered... You know, stumps that well, I've that's, got. That's right, because we actually were up on the rock face there, and um, one of the Sherpas there tried to pull you down. He thought you were dead because <laughs> yeah. your legs were so withered. <laughs> what do you mean you had a They were, they were literally just flapping in the breeze hey, there. Mind you, she was blowing a hell of a gale there, Mogi. Well, it gets windy up there, man, yes. about, you know, you're, you're 11, 12, 13,000 feet. <laughs> well, and that's no, when it starts blowing, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you have a Sherpa? There were no Sherpas operating in New Zealand, I wouldn't think. Well, there are Sherpas operating, but most of them sort of... Why aren't they native to Tibet? Well, yeah, but it's like saying there's no New Zealanders in Bondi. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. That'd be stupid. So, wait, hang on, how did you get a Sherpa? Uh, well, they give you one. They give you one because it's 10 grand to climb it, um, and you get uh, as many Sherpas as you want. So we got three each. Yes. Um, one to carry the beersies, one to carry the darts, um, one to carry a um, few magazines to read up the top. Yeah. Um, we had a small bale of basil as well. A bale of basil. Oh, yeah, just a little, a little. Well, where the hell were you guys climbing? And um, a couple of one with the syringes of heroin to celebrate at the summit. Yeah, totally. So, what did you summit? Where were you? Um, Everest, Keezy. The Himalayas. You might not know this, Keezy, but it's the anniversary of the Great Sir Ed uh, flying to Everest. What was it? He didn't fly to Everest. Well, yeah, he got a plane he, over to got, Tibet. Tibet. And then he climbed up the mountain. And then he climbed yeah, the yeah, mountain. Yeah, 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 we didn't yeah, fly yeah. up to Yeah, yeah he didn't yeah. fly up to the top. He didn't fly onto Everest. No, no, no. Obviously. That, that, that would, would have been regarded stupid. as cheating. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and you guys did it yesterday afternoon. Yeah. Yes. Because apparently an expedition from the base camp to the top takes around two months because you have to acclimatize and all yeah, that. Yeah, for a lot of people. If you don't know where you're going. Yeah. Right, so you know a shortcut of sorts. Yeah, well, totally we do. So I on. mean, how many times have we done it now, Mogi? Oh, I've lost count. Man. Yeah. So it's... you had lunch with Nick Cave. Yes. And then Mogi picked you up, and you you took six Sherpas to the top of Everest with a whole lot of no, weed. Well, to be fair, they helped us. We didn't take them. It's yeah, not like they were on our backs. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. that's light, not the point. They lightened the load. No, yeah, of course, totally. Of course, right. Because that's you, what they're there for. And you got back in time. Because Sherpa 
is Chinese for guide. Totally. And and the thing is, the thing is, Casey, we weren't carrying any any weight at all. I was just in my jandals, my shorts, and my, and my singlet. Yeah, summer over there, man. Yeah, it's hot. bloody hot as. Yeah, they don't tell you that. Well, they don't tell you that. Because you know how high Everest is. Oh, I know. Can it's you, the highest mountain in the world. Can you imagine one how, all, one all. how close to the sun one you off. get with that bastard? Yeah. I mean, oh, right. sweat was pissing off me. Yeah. Because I thought you could only sort of climb it in May or something. Pardon? Wait, in March, sorry. Early in the year. Nah, any time you like. It, yeah, really. Whenever it takes yeah, if you you're fancy. good enough, yeah. you've got a free afternoon. Just do it. I say. All right. And the trouble back- is, a lot of people make a big deal about it, man. I remember yeah. we did it with Adam Barori. Yeah. Jeez, he didn't shut up, did he? <laughs> God Almighty! Oh, this is hard. I might write a book about it. Oh God. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this Monday afternoon. Afternoon. Text us, 3483. Tell us how your Monday went. Just hearing about that horrific neck injury there on the uh, in the rugby over the weekend there, Muggy. What, what, what do you reckon was your worst injury that you just played on with? Because uh, you've, you've had actually some shockers over the years. Yeah. I don't know, man. Everything sort of grows back if you give it enough time. Yes. Uh, my patellas um, got kicked out a couple of times. Yes. Straight out. Your kneecaps, right? Yeah, my Patella? kneecaps. Couldn't wow. find them for love nor money. Um, so there was that one. Um, someone stomped on my um, foot once and all my toes fell off. They yes. got black. You yeah, know, went yeah, all black yeah. and all the toes fell off. Like, well, that, you know, which happened to us on, I think, our fourth climb to Everest, actually. And just on that front, by the way, Casey, we're talking about that before the break. There, do you know how hard it is trying to climb Everest without toes? Well, it's, it's very tricky. It's really it's tricky. tricky. I'll tell you, the other injury I had was somebody rucked open my testicles, yes. which was not uncommon back in the day. Uh, but then someone stuffed a handful of mud in there. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't know that it happened. And well, you, you didn't drag, notice that. And you, you get spun the ball from your first five, and you just drag in your ass, going, "Hello, what's going on here? How yeah. do you not notice that? I mean, I had oh. my tes- testicles rucked so many times, Mogi. It, 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 it was just flaps of yeah. flesh in the end. There was, there was no when you ball got white, action. When you got white line fever, Keezy, you got you can't focus on anything else, and that goes for mud in your rucksack as well. Yeah, totally, man. Right, okay. Yeah. I mean, I've had white line fever. I've played footy. Yeah, but yeah, I think yeah, I noticed yeah, if yeah. someone jammed mud in my ball or something. Yeah, that's you, the thing. You were saying off air, Keezy. What did that, I say off air, Jay? Because we were chatting about this and prep for this particular yeah. segment. Oh, prep, did we prep yeah. for this, didn't we? Um, that, <laughs> um, <laughs> that once you, that your worst was. You were playing first five there, and the old halfback f- spun it wide to you, and you broke a nail on, a nail on your little finger there. Down went little Keezy. Out ran Mon. Keezy! Stop the game. Stretches. Ice packs. Hey, uh, Keezy. Yeah, yeah, I was saying that off air. That's right, man. That was. And that was in year 13 as well, so I was 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, were, you so, weren't a bub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Jeez. Hey, still got the win, though. Obviously, I didn't play the rest of the game. Nah, nah. Yeah, nah. yeah, yeah. Hey, <clears throat> now listen. <laughs> what? Big hour coming up, by the way, fellas. We've got actor Matt Whelan coming in. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that'll be good. Yeah. He's, from, chat with he's from Narcos. Yeah, yeah Narcos. We've got a new movie coming out as well. Uh, plus, we have a bit of Warriors chat and the countdown, the final two songs in this hour coming up now. So let's go into it, shall we? The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. The cars, they're coming in at number 400 in the uh, GOAT countdown. That's the end of the countdown for the day. But I believe, are we still doing this, Keezy? Are we playing it from 7 o'clock tonight? That's right. Every single night from 7, redoing the day's GOAT countdown. Uh, That's basically because if anyone's working overnight, you know, you want to get amongst the GOAT. Why shouldn't you? And a big shout-out to Machinery House as well. Uh, They are one of the biggest and best suppliers of all sort of machine tools and workshop equipment. Machineryhouse.co.nz. Thanks for making it all possible. Thanks, mate. Hey, the time is 5.13, which means it's time for... Oh, crap, I completely forgot. Time to chat footy with me, Keezy. What are the Warriors up to? (laughs) Just joking. I didn't forget. This is my favourite segment. I prep all day for it, and I'm ready to give it to you. The Warriors, the Wars, the Wowos went down to Napier. You know, it was they funny. took on Sorry, the. Sorry, yeah, just uh, it, was, it was funny, Maggie, because I had, on, go, I, mean, I, I had a go. I had a I had a go at you guys last week about oh, you know, Keezy was waxing lyrical about it's going to be a purple patch. We've just had the bye. You when, keep saying purple you know, patch. Got, these are easy games ahead, and I said as soon as the Warriors get into that mode of thinking, they get their ass whooped. 
they got their ass whooped again. Yeah, that's a good point, Chase. And now, you, keep saying, you keep saying, oh, no, not this year, not this year. But once again, true to form. Well, they didn't get their ass whooped. So, I mean... It was a game where... It was a caning, Keezy. It was an absolute ass spanking. They lost by four and they almost scored in the dying minutes. Um, what what happened was we were dominating the entire game. The entire game. We were dominating. And for some reason we still lost. So that's not good enough. We need to fix that. What's However, your insight on that? What do you mean? What's your insight on the fact that we were dominating the game and, we and still, then we lost, We couldn't Jace? ice it. What do you think that was? Oh, so yeah, look, me. Well, firstly, you've got to get the ball over the line. You know, oh. one of the fundamental things of, of winning a, a league match or a rugby match is actually putting the ball over the line. Yeah. Yeah, if you're I think they're going to be training that this week. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean totally I'll be honest inept. with you, it's one of the worst games of rugby league I've ever seen. Yes. Um, the only saving grace really was the streakers. Well, no, yes. hang on, that's completely That was a good time. And yeah. like being at I mean, the, the game there, and it was uh, the thing about it was then it sort of made it like Mardi Gras. Yeah. Um, you and I were there, and all of a sudden, you know, a couple of streakers, couple, and then you and I are like, wee, let's do it. And so then we're off having a streak as so well. You guys streaked. Times, um, because at the end of the day, the Warriors weren't delivering, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and so and there's nothing streak- like getting the old fella out in the fresh air. To you do, know to do, to People trying to tackle old Hordy J with his withered legs. Good luck with that, fellas. So hang on. Um, and a bit of a treat for the, you know, the people in the audience that were, you know, that way inclined. Did you have a morning? See me for- swinging in the breeze there, Minogi. Boy, oh boy. I mean, I didn't know you could do weights for that sort of area, but cut what? All right, so Minogue's muscly downstairs I mean, aside. Had you- I, I mean, have you kind never of seen a pecker with abs. Let me put it that way. Okay, it sounds like he's got um, issues with it, but you, and you guys you know, kind of... To be honest, I have never seen such muscular bullos. Was it an eight-pack or a six-pack? Honestly. It, it was a six pack. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Um, but it, was, it was a six pack with sweet and sour sauce. And, yeah, nice. And, and the sort of <laughs> the small sort of how do I describe well, the traction of his buttocks? No, this is he was pelting across the ground there. This boy, isn't what oh, is Mike's oh, downstairs what's so good about to. the Warriors, isn't it? It yes. brings out the best in the audience. It does. You know what I mean? It does. Well, yeah. it was kind of ruined uh, by the audience. We are the fans, you know, and uh, you know next year's our year, so looking forward to that. But in the meantime, there'll be a few more streaks for old Mogi and Hoity Please, Jones. Hey, listen, the, the Waz may have let the fans down. Old Hoity J and Mogi didn't. <laughs> by the way, the Warriors are playing <laughs> this Saturday, 5 o'clock against the Dolphins. Sky Sports 6 or 9, can't remember. The ACC will be commentating that. But I it, tried to find that genuinely. I, Sky Sports 6, what the hell is that? I couldn't find 56. it. 56. Oh. You go five up from Sky Sport 1. Well, I went to Sky... I went to 6. Yeah, I know. You're probably holding the remote backwards or something. And it was like... You were holding the garage door it, open. It, it was... Um, it was your Black Dilly, was. wasn't it? Yeah. Were you... <laughs> Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Weezer there on the radio, Hodaki Big Show this Monday afternoon. We've got a very special guest in the uh, studio with us today. A guy I've worked with quite a lot over the years, actually, and uh, who I mentored uh, in, in his early career as an actor. Um, he was struggling, and old Hoity J sort of showed him the ropes and uh, the way ahead. I'm talking about Matt Whelan. How are you, you mad bastard, first of all? You're looking well. I'm good. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank uh, you. And I tell you what, you know, you and I used to do jobs together, mates, and, geez, you've come a long way. You really have. Uh, you're going great guns at the moment, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, first of all, thank you Yeah, no, for pulling okay. me up by the bootstraps. So. Yeah, yeah. You're um, rocking a bit of the old facial here at the moment as well. I oh am, yeah, um, the whole gang is. We've, yeah. we've gone with goaties uh, because we're doing the goat countdown at the moment. Um, if you have to pick a winner at the moment, who do you reckon? Who's got the best goatee? The best goatee? Of the three of us. I would say... I don't know. I think I'm, I'm sort of... It's I'm looking cheesy, at, isn't it? It's cheesy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm I kind of regretting the help that I gave it's you very early tidy. in your career, <laughs> given that you've, um, you know, you've just picked cheesy. I'll be honest with you, Matt. Uh, none of us want to have goaties. We all hate them. Uh, we're embarrassed that people think we made the choice to have a goatee, uh, but it's all part of the uh, campaign here at Radio Hodaki. Hey, let's get back to you, though. Uh, you, have, you, you are a pretty uh, prolific actor, and you've got a project coming up. Tell us about that, man. Yeah, I have a, um, a movie coming out called The Tank, coming out June 8th um, in New Zealand uh, cinemas. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a horror film. I love a horror. Yeah. Yeah, a great. Creature feature. Yes. Um, 
with great practical effects. So uh, no CGI digital oh, that's effects fantastic. on the on the creature. Yeah, like old school the thing. Yeah. Alien. Well, well jaws, like you yeah. watch uh, Jurassic Park the first one, it still holds up. You watch any CGI from ten years ago, it looks terrible. Yeah, I so, love, you know. Mm, I love those old I love the original thing. Is mm. it is it a splatter movie? It's, is there splatter? I mean there's a little there's a little bit of splatter. Yeah. There's a little bit of um you know, like uh, uh, gore, a little, little bit, bit of gore. gore. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there love making? There's Matt? some jumps. There's some scares. There's a good few scares. There's no love making. Oh, that scene was cut. Right. Oh, really? It was him and the monster. It didn't really fit in with everything else. <laughs> God, yeah, I, I couldn't tell you the amount of my love scenes that were, you know, left on the editor's floor. <laughs> Can I ask you a question, Matt? Um, yeah. I almost fell out of my seat when I saw in New Zealand it was a Narco season three. There's one scene, and if you've seen it, you've got a jackhammer, and it's one of the most intense scenes of the literally the whole series. Um, filming that, you know, that must have been pretty epic. You know, are you pleased with the outcome of that? Because I was on the edge of my seat. Yeah, really pleased. That was really fun. Uh, is that when I'm smacking through the wall? Yeah. That, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a guy hiding right behind yeah, yeah, yeah. it. He's it is right there. The most epic moment in the whole series. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was great fun to shoot that scene, and the whole I mean the whole series was was awesome. I got to spend a good amount of time and. Columbia and we shot all of it there. I mean, there was some shot in New York. Mm. But good, I wasn't man. part of that, but yeah, Columbia. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Um, Have you ever shot at Bethel's Beach, man? Mate. <laughs> <laughs> For those that don't know, pretty much everything in New Zealand is shot at Bethel's Beach. Yeah, the tank was uh, yeah, shot. They, was it shot? Yeah, oh, I thought that's what really? you were saying. Oh, oh, right. Just a guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, those brilliant. are the exteriors. I was just Bethel's reading, Beach. Having, having a, uh, a look about the tank online there, I saw that Scott Walker, the director, was trapped in New Zealand with his family. Is it, and is that how it came about that he made the film? That's how the whole idea came about. He was trapped here with COVID and then he stayed with a friend up north. And then they had one of these creepy old concrete uh, water tanks. And so I think the water went out one night and he had to climb down there and um, oh, fix it. Oh, that's terrifying. And so, yeah, so that night he had nightmares. And then I think from that, he yeah wrote the wrote the screenplay. In. Wow, because we had one of those water tanks at my place. And my dad had to climb inside it once as well. And we looked inside for the first time. It's like, wow, it's disgusting in there. Yeah. 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 Like, hey, on my uncle's yeah. farm there in the Taranaki, uh, Kesey, in their, in their water system. Yeah, that was the one. Yeah, they, they had like three dead possums. Yes, that, I tell you what, yes. that's, that's good. Uh-huh. That's good drinking, yes, fellas. Yeah, that's that's yeah. really good that's drinking. Good. Um, um, sorry, Matt. One other thing too, I've just remembered is a few years ago now you got cast to play Hugh Hefner. I did. Yes. Is that the sort of thing, Hugh Hefner? Everyone knows who he is. Um, is that the sort of thing you go sweet, or is it like, damn it, I look like Hugh Hefner? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because that was he had to okay me playing the role, right? So he said. Uh, so that was kind of crazy that was buzzy to me at the time I put my audition down and then he, he saw it and he was like yep okay you can wow. you can play me but apparently I do look a little bit like him when he was a bit younger I'm not but I, a, I, yeah, but a young Hugh Hefner was a good looking man yeah, he's he's you're, th- you're thinking about 90 year old Hugh Hefner which yeah, yeah, was yeah. not a good look but young Hugh Hefner was he was a good looking fellow yeah. and I'm thinking you know that kind of role there's a lot of love making surely oh the, yeah there, there was I mean that there was there wasn't so much it wasn't a very explicit kind of show it was a it was oh. a, 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 a docudrama yeah um, on Amazon I believe so it was Amazon yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, Keezy yeah. is a massive freak for that sort of thing so <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. Yeah. seen I'm that a freak 11 times for New Zealand actors is what, you know which is well I'll tell you what Matt we'll take a quick break we'll go into a tune here and we'll come back and have a, have a bit more of a chat because we've got a script for you as well alright great good on you mate the Hodaki Big Show Podcast. The police there on the radio, Hodaki uh, Big Show. This Monday afternoon, we have actor Matt Whelan uh, in the studio with us. He was just telling us some fascinating tales off air there about meeting the one and only Hugh Hefner. And you played him for a day, was it just a day's filming, did you say? We did a day's filming at the Playboy Mansion, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. got to sit on his rotating bed yeah. for a while while you waited for him. He wanted to meet me, and I, I waited on his famous, infamous <laughs> rotating bed. Oh. Yeah, but then I got pulled into another room. <laughs> so good, so good. Um, <laughs> so, Matt, uh, when is this film that you've just... The, the, the Tank. Film, the Tank, when's yes. that coming out? When's that due so out? So, June 8th, uh, cinemas. Yes, um. Yes, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, 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 that's yeah. Nationwide. Yeah, yeah nationwide. Yeah. Um, and it's, the trailer is a—it's a bloody ripper of a trailer. They've done a great job with that. I think it's had millions of views. 
Um, but it's one of those things, isn't it, where genre horror, this sort of stuff at the moment is just absolutely massive. And you've got a really small location, there's a few actors involved and yeah. a monster, and you're in trouble. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, there's a huge appetite for that kind of um, film. There's a big audience for that kind of stuff. And yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Can I ask you, Matt, is it over 90 minutes? Because Mogi over there, he can only last 90 minutes in a movie before this he walks out. This movie is 100 minutes. I, I, I can last ooh, 100 minutes. I went to see a movie the 10. other day. I can't remember what it was called. Um, with the great Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, and it was three hours. And Bo that, some, yeah, oh, yes. Yeah, something. Bo is afraid. Bo is afraid, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three which hours was, 20, was, wasn't it? Yeah, three hours 20, which was... It was great for the first hour and a half, two hours. And then it was just did my head in mm-hmm. you know what I mean because I, I have a very small attention span so this is 100 minutes did 100 you say Mogi yeah 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 okay now Matt, uh, Matt I'm uh, Keezy's agent and I wonder if you can do us a little favour we've got an upcoming role for him and we've just written out a script here and we we're wondering if you could help uh, us with the script here with Keezy and maybe give him a few tips afterwards Absolutely. Well, hang yeah, on, is, yeah. this, is this an actual role? Well, or? the audition has come the, in here. So there's something the shooting down the road. There's something shooting locally. Right. Um, we'll be shooting um, Ponsonby for London from the sounds of it. Yes. Right, okay. Um, so, yeah, pretty pretty exciting, man. If you can nail this one, I think um, you'd be well on your way to superstardom. All right, yeah, cool. and, and Matty, just a word to the wise, mate. Uh, Keezy's, he's a, he's a rookie. Think of yourself like 20 years ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not he's, a very giving actor. No, nah, he's he tends to just be a little bit absorbed with his own performance. But um, so I'm you 20 years ago, and you're Hoody J, who was your mentor 20 years ago. Right. What are you saying about me though? Oh no! Twenty years ago, you were great. But, I mean, the tips I gave you. You're saying I was, oh, was I like that twenty years ago? Oh man, I hope not. Well, you'll see. Um, yeah. Should we crack into it then? All right. Well, All right. I see here it's in rainy London, so we we'll get some sound effects. Good on you, mate. Jace will do all the big print. For oh, you. shall I? Okay. Yeah. Put your glasses on there, mate. You, you good, Matt? I'm good. I'm okay, good. mate. Exterior. Grimy London streets. Night. A handsome undercover police officer, Detective Whalen, makes his way down the lonely back alleys of London town. <laughs> sorry, it's Whelan. As in oh, Matt. Whelan. Whelan. That's right, Whelan. Whelan. Sorry, yeah. sorry. From Matt. We'll Whelan, take Whelan. From the top. Uh, yeah, sorry, my bad. A handsome <laughs> undercover police officer, <laughs> Detective Whelan, makes his way down the lonely back alleys of London. There's a murderer on the loose, and Whelan is the man to find him. Suddenly, there's a noise from behind a rubbish bin. Who goes there? From behind the bin steps a hideous creature, dressed in rotting and reeking dress. It bears horrendous facial hair and an impossibly ginormous onker. Whelan recoils in horror. Ah! What are you? The beast answers a question with a question. (sighs) Fancy a hand shandy, copper. Whelan vomits onto the street. <laughs> Good eating. Are you serious? That's the. <laughs> are you serious that that's the script you've got for me? Really? Look, I think we're we're out on a few cues there. Yeah, that was yeah, it's my bad. <laughs> I uh, no, not just you across the board, um, <laughs> but. I think there's something in there for you there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just think this isn't realistic of a role that I'd play. Like, who's? Why am I given a hand? Let's know? just go. Let's just well, go the from the dialogue. These, day, these days, Keezy, you can't hire an ugly woman because that wouldn't be a good look. So you just hire a man to play the woman. All good. All right. So you get an ugly man to play an ugly woman. Right. Which is you. Well, so we, let's let's go from Whelan recoils in horror. Are you okay, okay with that, Matt? Yep, I'm okay. good to go from there. It's sound effects there. Just a bit more passion, if you could, Keezy. A bit more commitment. Well, it's hard be to be good. passionate about giving no, him a Keezy. handshake. <laughs> Here we go. Whelan recoils in horror. Ha, what are you? The beast answers a question with a question. Fancy a hand shandy, copper? Whelan vomits onto the street. <laughs> Good eating. <laughs> so you can see. What, what do you think, Matt? What, what are your views? What do you? How do you feel about that? I mean, what? I will say it was a pretty strong start. Yeah, yeah. I think you really committed to the hand shandy, the offering. Wow, of he often does. Said hand shandy. <laughs> yeah. 
Thanks, Wheelan. I feel like I've uh, learned a lot from this. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, but what would you be? You know, it's all it's all well and good giving you know uh, compliments, but I think you often learn more more from harsh criticism, criticism. Yeah, or yeah, harsh yeah, criticism, yeah, yeah. or just dying on your ass on stage or something like that. You know. <laughs> oh, so I'm doing hey, this on stage. That's been one of my Matt, favorite times on stage. Actually, dying, m- Matt. Thanks so much for coming in, mate. Uh, all the best with the upcoming movie. Thank you. And uh, we'll try and score some tickets to give away to our punters Ooh, later down yeah, the line. How does that sound? Absolutely. Yeah, cool. Yeah, awesome. Good on you, mate. Don't forget, it's called The Tank out June 8th. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. The dudes to round off the hour there. Good news, fellas. Good news. Just got a text from my lovely wife. Uh, saying, I can't be asked with dinner tonight. Are we happy with BK? Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, hey. Uh, yeah, yeah, boy. Now you're talking happy days, happy days. Don't fill um, up on cheese balls on the way home yeah. then, will you? Look, I'm I'm struggling a bit on that front. Yeah. I, I, I cracked on Friday night, I have to admit, but I did it on Thursday and Wednesday, which is, you know, you got to take your small achievements where you can. Sure. But this time of the night, we do love to know what people are having for tea, so text us 3483. And speaking of BK, we've got BK vouchers to give away, don't we, Keezy? That's right. At the moment, we are giving away Big King XL vouchers. It's the biggest bloody burger I've ever eaten from BK. Um, two patties as well. And I ate four of the bastards on the trot. That's Deesh. right. Deesh. Douche, douche, douche. You would have th- thought they were cheese balls the way that you were shoveling them in there. Oh, it was so good, man. Uh, we'll get into that after six. Stay tuned. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, you mad bass. It's great to have your company this Monday. Now, Mogi, you'll be excited. You're on your last week of your diet here. Well, actually I've, got, I, actually, I've got two weeks to go, but oh. I'm going I'm to call it early. Right. Because I'm rooted. Yes. Absolutely rooted. Um, what I'm doing at the moment, I don't know if you know this, uh, but you have you, you you have a certain amount of calories every day that you need to, to run your body. Yes. Uh, and I've worked out mine's about 2,500, so I'm only having 2,000 calories a day. I'm having less than I need. Yes. And then I'm exercising six days a week, probably between 800 to 1,000 calories I'm losing a day doing that. Um, so that, on top of not sleeping very well, I'm rooted. Yes. I'm pretty wow. rooted. Well, I was thinking, I was referring more to the food aspect of it. You yeah. know what I mean? In terms of being able to, you know, vary your diet again. That, I am looking forward to doing you know, that. You know, a few takeaways I'm have, I think BK. my first meal back is probably going to be... Is probably going to be BK. Yeah. I think I'm going to go burger and chips. Yeah, good on and you, And a can of, am I allowed to say Coca-Cola? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One nice. of those as well. Oh, Sweet. Don't you. say. Don't and say that on the radio. And I have another mate. whopper as well. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, uh, Keezy, what oh, are they saying on the good. text machine? Three four eight three. It's What's amazing the tea tonight because the amount of calories you're sort of not eating. That's pretty much what he eats in a day of cheese balls. A cheese ball. So yeah. you're doing like contrasting diets, which we is really are. interesting. Yeah. Um, g'day, guys. Tonight. Cheese bolos. I actually worked out that I need 500 calories a day. Yeah. Yeah. Which I get from my morning coffee. Right. You need that in powdery cheese form. Um, g'day, guys. Having crumb chicken schnitzel tonight with crushed potato beans gravy. Yum. It's from Terence. What was that? Beans? Yeah, just beans and gravy. Yum. Did he say how he's cooking the beans? Is he steaming them or? Nah, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, Steamed beans. Yeah. Hey, guys. They're beautiful. Having brisket. I prefer to bran- a blanch them. Oh, blanch yeah, is good. Yeah. I, I often pan fry them. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, sure. A little bit of uh, minced garlic. Yes. Uh, a little bit of sliced almond, a little bit of soy. Shoy. Yeah. Shoy. Yeah. Shoy. Yeah. <laughs> like how I did that? Hey, well, guys. Hey, just a little, just a little, a little tipple bit of oyster sauce in there could work oh, nicely too. Oh, yeah. I like that. Bit or of black salt. bean sauce. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of tomato yeah. sauce, a little bit of mustard, okay. a little bit of mayo. And then, salt. Yeah, a bit of aioli. Oh, easy. Uh, Salt. Hey guys, having brisket bourguignon with mushrooms, pearl onions, bacon, red wine, and creme fraiche mash. Is there any Jew in there? Uh, it doesn't say. Right, oh, red okay. wine Jew. I like a red wine Jew. Yeah, so do I. What about this? Hey guys, having a burrito bowl tonight. Red rice and beans, capsicum, tomato, jalapenos, fried tortilla, jalapeno, sour cream. Feels like you're just reading recipes, Keezy. <laughs> Definitely not doing that. Right, okay. <laughs> Keep those texts coming on 3483. In the meantime, let's kick off with Nirvana. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Stereo Graham there on the radio, Hodaki Big Show. Speaking of um, food, um, <laughs> Keezy, you were saying off air that... Um, you need, what was it, 9,800 calories a day to keep you going. Yeah, yeah. Because Mogi gave you that app, didn't you, Mogi? Yeah. 
to work out what you need. Yeah. And so, and I didn't realize this, but by the time I put like my frozen pizza in, um, and then sort of the chippies and all that sort of stuff, and then all the beers I have, it turns out I need just under 10,000 calories. It's a lot, man. But you're a young man. You're a young man. So it's all good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I mean, it would be man. good if you were actually active. Well, I am pretty active. Well, he's, he's, down, he's started at the gym now, so he's down there pervert on that chicken. Oh, day. yeah, that's true. And yeah, that, yeah. I reckon that would burn at least 500 calories. <laughs> yeah. You know what well, I mean? Well, especially with the intensity with which you do it, I'm sure it would. <laughs> Some explosive perving. <laughs> High reps as well. Active perving. <laughs> Uh, what else are we looking at there on the text machine there, uh, Keezy? No, no, you, you, no, you no. do it. You tell me. No, I don't have the text in front of me. It's not my job. Oh, my computer's down. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Um, g'day, guys. Having Everyone starts with g'day, guys. It's weird, eh? That's g'day, what I, fellas. Yeah, yeah. I add that, that so to every weird. text. Right? Oh. oh, you add that? Oh. Yes. So whenever anyone texts and I add g'day, fellas, to make it more sort of oh, convivial, laid back. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what does it say? G'day, guys. <laughs> Potato gnocchi tonight with ricotta, mushrooms, and leek. Love a leek. Hate gnocchi. Do you? Yeah, I do. Gnocchi's amazing. I don't no. know how it's made because it's taties. I, I've made gnocchi, but I've, I've never had a good gnocchi. I hate it. Hate it. Dour. Doughy. Doughy. Yeah, foul. sure. I can see that. I can yeah. see Have that. You? I've had some good gnocchis in my day. Yeah, a good gnocchi is amazing. Jace. <laughs> Jace. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool, Keezy. <laughs> what with like ham and pineapple and cheese? <laughs> no, with like a beautiful, beautiful sauce. On it. Yeah, yeah, it sounds <laughs> delicious actually. Um, it oh, does. how good does this sound? G'day, fellas. Having pork belly tonight, honey glazed carrots on the side, balsamic onions, duck fat potatoes, crackling gravy, and apple sauce, $34.50. <laughs> $34.50. Where are they going for it? Oh, no, it just says here on the text uh, that they had just having it at home, just whipping it up. Right. Right, okay. $34.50. Oh, that was weird for them to add that, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was very weird. Hey, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do, because all, all those, genuinely, all those people that made the effort to text in on uh, what they're having for tea on 3483. Yes. Uh, uh, Pugs is going to go through that now and pick out some winners for some BK vouchers. Do you want me to read an actual one? Yes. G'day, guys. Chicken schnitzel for dinner. Had it last night, but it was so damn good. We're having it again. Cheers. Chicken schnitz, man. You like a schnitz? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I don't like a, uh, or I didn't used to like a beef schnitz. No, I'm not I a big fan of the beef. a sinewy, yes. tough. Yes. By its very nature. Yes. Um, I liked the lemon. Yes. Um, sometimes I put a bit of tartare on that, a little bit of mustard, a yeah, little yeah. bit of tomato sauce. Nice. Tell you what, mint sauce. Oh, Pe- a little yeah, bit of mint sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pepper. Yeah. The Hodaki Big Show Weekdays at 4 on Radio Hodaki Soundgarden there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Monday evening But right now it's time for What's on the telly With Mike Minogue You don't think that was too long? Ah, huh? No, it's fine, mate. Okay. Where you go, man, Oak? What did I watch last night, babe? I don't know. Last night was Sunday night. Are you on the basil again? No, i tell you what I did. I went to the closing of the New Zealand Comedy Festival. Right, okay. Um, and they awarded the uh, Billy uh, Fred Dagg Fred and yes. Billy T Award. Right. Um, Abby Howells won the Billy T. Very, very funny and unique performer. She was actually great. I went to Snort, the improv night. Right. She was my favourite out of everyone. Very, very funny. Uh, and Guy Montgomery. Yes. The Fred Dagg Award. Great. Again, very, very funny. He's working very hard. Also won the uh, competition over in, well, the Best of the Fest in Sydney. Yes. Last month. Uh, and Kura Turafenua won Best Newcomer. It was really good. It was one of those things I was like, I don't want to go to this. Right. Sunday. Yeah, shitty niggly. weather. I'm staying home. And then you get out. It's like this is good. Yes. I'm out, man. Look at me. I'm out. Yeah, good Had a couple on you, of mate. waters out of the toilet. They didn't. They ran out of water in the little fountain thing. So I took my cup into the the old toilet there, just from tap straight from tap. the urinal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the, the tap. tap. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I, thought yeah, you, yeah. I thought you went up to the little urinal there and just got the squirt out from there. Well, I could have. 
Yeah. What did you watch, Jace? I watched a very good film last night called A Dark Place um, with Irish actor Andrew Scott. Who oh, is yeah. Bloody awesome. Really? He was in Fleabag and a few yeah, other things. Yeah, I know the guy, the hot priest. Yes, the hot yeah, priest. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. fact, my wife admitted to having a bit of a crush oh, on, on him. I um, hope you immediately gave her the silent treatment. It, it's, yeah, I did. It's about a sanitation worker set in the States. A kid dies, blah, blah, blah. And he's a sanitation worker with a few issues mentally and addiction wise. Has he, he got a dirt brain or is he all good? Uh, no, he's a bit of a dirt brain. But he. Uh, but he he persists when this kid dies because he doesn't feel like it's been... Something's not right, Something's man. not right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you know, and this guy as an actor reminds me a little bit... He's got the same vibe as Sam Rockwell. Oh. You know, that kind... He, they both have this... Quirkiness. Well, quirkiness, but like they play all their roles sort of distractedly. Right, like sure. they're Like they're distracted by stuff, but they're brilliant. Yeah. A dark place... Prime video, check it out. Oh, on that note, actually, how did you enjoy the Ben Stokes documentary over the weekend? Oh, oh yeah, mate. you promised. Yeah, mate, that's right. That is going to be my Friday feature, oh, I tell you. You're leaving that for Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be my, my specialty. Keezy? Um, I watched a program. Oh, I was going to say, let's with, move on to the next song, but that's cool. I watched a program with uh, Mads Mickelson, Norman Reedus, and uh, another person, can't remember who. It was a PlayStation game. It was great. That's what I'm playing at the moment. And those two are in it. And I was like, how do I get Jason Mike to talk about PlayStation with a couple of actors? Don't eat while I'm... Don't drink while I'm... Can you at least throw to the song? Living Keller. <laughs> Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Bird Patrol there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Monday evening as we draw near to a close. But exciting news, fellas. Mm. Check this out. Taskmaster with our very own Jeremy Wells. Are we excited? I'm excited. It's my favourite uh, New Zealand sort of panel show. Right. Because we take a lot of shows from over in England and we try to do them and then they don't seem to stick, you know. But this one's really good. Yes. Who's in it this year? Uh, this year is Di Henwood. Karen, Excellent. Karen O'Leary. Excellent. Melanie Bracewell. Excellent. Keezy. Just joking. Ray O'Leary and Sieni Lio'o Olo, Ray, a.k.a. Bubba. Ray O'Leary. Familiar name, but I He's can't... He's a stand-up comedian. Ah, very okay. funny. Is he yes. the guy with the curly very hair funny. and the glasses? Yep. That's him. Yes. Well, there you go. How exciting. Yeah. Hey. Did they ask you, Mogi? Uh, no. They ask you? Yeah. Yeah. Did um, I actually? Yeah, yeah. And you said no. Well, I'm busy, Keezy. What are you doing? Oh, just Reno's Taskmaster. Reno's around the house, watching, sorting out your watching, cupboard, watching panel shows and stuff like that. Doing Dog Squad. Um. So when does that begin then? Uh well, it's back for another season, so it's going to be on TVNZ Two and TVNZ Plus if you miss. But um, we're just filming it this week, I believe. Jeremy Wells is involved, still presenting, and you got Paul Williams who plays his assistant. It's just more of a heads up that hey, it's coming, and keep an eye on. TVNZ too. Yeah, good stuff. Can't wait. Well, I can. But yeah. I mean, I did. I, oh no, I'll watch some of it. I can't say I watch all. I won't. I definitely. Have you? Oh, watched? It's so good, man. I can't wait for it to come out. The Hodaki Big Show weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Well, there you go. That's Monday. Tick, done and dusted. Uh, Mogi, your plans? None. Watch Good. Succession. That's it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. We well, already talked about this. of Succession. Yeah. 90-minute episode. We didn't talk about this. We didn't, didn't we? talk about No. Yeah. And the tally break? Oh, yeah, true. No. no. I talked about it before the show. Off air. That's yeah. right. Off air. Yeah. And you were also saying off air that... Um, <laughs> Nah, carry yeah, on. No, 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 it's fine. No, Keezy, please. No, look, I don't want to be the guy that says stuff that you were saying off Oh, I don't mind. You okay. can you, you go for it. You said that you hate watching... Can I just say it already feels like a lie? Yeah, yeah. It just don't feel, but anyway, yeah, but we'll no, see where it goes. carry on, Keezy. You said you hate watching, you know, Succession with your wife because she, like, ruins it and that she's really bad at cooking and that... Um, oh, there was all this other stuff too, and that you secretly don't like Minogue, um, and that you were thinking about getting nose reduction surgery, 
um, and that you've got a tiny, tiny, tiny set of ballors. Oh, yeah, that sounds about right. Remember I that? Remember you said that, that all along. Yeah, yeah. And then you were like, oh, that. succession. Yeah, yeah, totally, mate. I forgot totally. About that. Yeah. Hey, Keezy, um, no doubt, no <laughs> doubt, a uh, couple of midnight wees for you tonight when you go to bed. I hope not. And it's about 3 a.m. actually. Oh, right. So four nights in a row I've been having to get up. Hopefully it doesn't happen tonight. Um, But I'm going to go get a burger with my brother who's in town. Yeah, nice. Um, And then put the wife to bed, play PlayStation. Yeah, good stuff. What kind of burger are you going to get? (gasps) What? Of course you are, mate. Uh, All those free vouchers. Now, listen, uh, I'm just going to take it easy too. Succession, bit of (laughs) uh, Kai and... uh, That'll be Hoodie J done for the night. Yeah, it sounds good, Jace. Yeah, good stuff. Hey, thanks for joining us. Make sure you check out our podcast. Make sure you check out our Instagram account, Hodaki Big Show, till tomorrow. See you later.